I want you to understand the difference between gifts and talents. Some people in life become so great that it's not fair. It seems like they have this superhuman ability to tap into their superpowers that makes them that much more better than the greatest. And when you start to look at the habits of those people that are that much greater than the greatest, you start to realize they don't watch television. They consume minimal content of others' ideologies because in their heart and soul, they know that all it takes is dedication, perseverance, and understanding that you can do whatever you set your mind to do. Like we always heard when we were kids, but the problem is most of the people who told us this were never successful. They didn't have the success to stand on the soapbox and to tell us, I'm telling you from experience. I'm not against education, but there becomes a point in time where education teaches us to follow these pathways within our culture that we're taught to respect and know. And that respect and know is a program. The program of the matrix, the program of our culture, of our society, tells us this is what you have to do to get from point A to Z. You go to school for 12 years, we're taught meaningless things about history, and all these other events that are half true and half not. Just to never utilize those in a situation of our lives and to keep us minimally educated to the point to where we become programmable employees and we fight for that little piece of paper on the wall that came out of a printer that anybody can buy that says, you are the employee of the month. You resembled kindness, customer service, your ability to, to solve problems was greater than everyone else around you. So in this establishment, you're employee of the month. But that piece of paper on the wall is only as valuable as the four walls of that corporation. Because your employee of the month of McDonald's does not mean you can walk into NASDAQ and become the best at the best. It simply means you are, I guess this is who I am individual. By saying, I'm going to confide in these accomplishments that somebody else said I was good enough to receive. When you know in your heart you can be much greater. You could have became the owner, creator, establisher, visionary of a McDonald's or a Facebook. Why is it people in our culture take so long to achieve their dreams? But there's just a few individuals who get to that same path in seven to ten years because they seem to dedicate more time, more energy. They seem to understand something about relationships that you don't. When Mark Zuckerberg called a few of his closest, closest friends in college, and he understood there's something that these educators aren't showing me. There's a key that has not been unlocked that they don't know about. Because if they did, they wouldn't be sitting here teaching me how to be, I guess this is who I am. They would be showing me from a soapbox of success that this is who you can be. When I first started interacting with Rick Ross, 
knowing his story, being around the Miami culture and music. There were no DJ Khaled's. There was no Pitbull. It was Trick Daddy. It was Trina. It was Po' Boy Records, E-Class. It was Uncle Luke. It was China. God rest my brother's soul. It was people like that who were driving the culture. And I click on Instagram two days ago. And I see Ross just bought a private jet. This is a person of success standing on a soapbox showing you. Yes, you can. Because when I met him, he was not in the place where he's at today. But you know it comes full circle. Because he believed in something that everybody else never thought he would achieve. He saw something in himself that he decided to separate himself from the vultures who are attaching themselves to his movement to become wealthy or known and said, I'm going to do it my way. Surrounded himself with a few people that had the wisdom and the understanding to sow into that, yes, I can. So everybody can win. If you're surrounded by people who are doubting you, Stop wasting your time and energy trying to convince them. Leave them alone. Leave them where they stand. Thank you for tuning in to this brief clip of In The Den podcast. For the full episode, please click the link in the description. As always, peace, love, and blessings. Salute.